Hello everyone. Welcome back to my another video. In today's video, I have created a unique library management system with several distinct features. So essentially, we can say that it is an online bookstore. This project comprises of two main panels, user panel and admin panel. In user panel, user can do these following activities such as first register and login. Users can create accounts and login to their account. Add to cart functionality. Similar to e-commerce websites, users can add books to their cart. Payment gateway, a local payment gateway option is available. Basically, it will send OTP to your phone number to verify that user is valid or not. Book filters, users can filter books based on various criteria, and many more several other functionalities are available to enhance users' experience. In admin panel, admin can handle user management and book management. In user management, admins can view the list of users and their orders, including order quantity and total price. And in book management, admins can add, delete, and update the books. Basically, all the CRUD operations are handled by admin. So this project is built using for the front end HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the back end Node.js, Express.js, SQL for query writing, and MySQL as a database. So this project is beneficial for students of all the levels as it covers various key concepts such as event loop, understanding of synchronous operations, middleware used for authentication of a request, session management, storing user login information, route handling, managing different routes in the application, and main uh, part of register and login is JWT authentication. So let's proceed to the demo to explore all these features in action. So this is the first page of a website where you need to log in. If you are a user, you need to log in as a user or as a login as admin. So we are users, so we will just try with user functionality first. So if you are new to the website, you need to register first. So to register, you need every time you need to have a unique email. So if we, first we will try with an existing email to check whether login func uh, register functionality works correctly or not. So we'll try with this email. So it says that it is failed to register. It is because this uh, email is already present in database. So we will try with some unique email. For the password, I haven't applied any uh, validation. So if you want, you can apply through regular expression. So we have successfully registered. Now we will log in as a that uh, registered email. In the database, you will see that after registering, our entry has been added. And in the password field, you can say that uh, it is an encrypted password. So I have used bycrypt li library of Node.js to encrypt the password. So this is the home page of website, which contains a nav bar, an image slider, and section of popular books. So this is a nav bar. This is an image slider. And this is a popular book section. So the logic behind displaying popular books is based on the number of books sold. Specifically, an SQL query retrieves, retrieves the top six entries where the number of purchases is highest. You can see that the purchase is sorted in uh, descending order. And I have displayed the top six books here. So if a user want to see more information about a book, they can click on the view button. The view, uh, the view page books uh, will display detailed information about the selected books. And at the bottom, it will show that the books related to the particular category. So the logic of the related books is also straightforward. An SQL query that selects all the book in the same category as a selected book. Here as horror category books are not available. So it will show that no related books available at the moment. So if we go to the thriller category book and click on the view button, you can see the more books related to the thriller category. Now if a user want to add a book to the cart, you will just click on add to the card button and you can see that the 1984 book has been added to the card. So let's go to the card section. This is a card section where you will display the uh, image of the book, book name, book author, price, quantity and total. So if you want to increase the quantity, you will just click on the plus button and you can see that the quantity has been increased and the total has been calculated. If you want to decrease the quantity, you will just click on minus button, the quantity has been de uh, declined. So if a user want to add more books, he will go to the books section. So here are the list of books available. Now user can filter books as per his requirement. 
Here are three types of filters are available. First of a price range, user need to enter a spe specific price range in between. So he can see the books the, in between that price range. Then category, here are a list of 10 categories books are available. User need to click on checkbox to apply the filters. And third filter name is author name. He can also search the books by author name. So let's try each filter one by one. So first I need to check a book uh, price between 0 and 10. I will just click on apply button. You can see that all the books are between 0 and 10. So if I need to my 9 and 10, you can see that all the books are between 9 and 10. Let's say 0 and 9. We will check. You can see that only one book is available in that price range. So if a user want a book between 0 and 10 and a category is thriller, you will just click on thriller checkbox and you will apply filter. Yes, there is one book available in thriller category. And let's say he want some author name. No, uh, no book is available for his, all the three types of filters. So let's say I want author name Herpaili. So yes, only that specific book will, uh, book will appear. Now let's say a user want to order a mystery book, mystery category book. So here are two, uh, two types of books are available. Let's say we we'll click on view button. So you can also see that the mystery books related to that category is available here. If I click on add to cart button, the book has been added to the cart. Let's see. Yes, this is the book that I have been added. I will just increase the quantity. You can see that the total has been updated. Now if user, uh, if user need to uh, remove the book, you will just click on remove button. That books has been removed. Let's go to the book section and add one more book. Let's say I want science and technology book here you can see that these are the two books uh, that are added in the cart so let's proceed to the pay button so this proceed to the pay button will go to the checkout page where you, you need to uh, enter the form and the uh, enter otp card number and cvv number to uh, get the payment details so you can see that the quantity we have ordered three and total is this much so user need to pay the form so let's pay the form let's fill the form The, you can see that email has been already acquired by the session uh, that has been uh, displayed in the nav bar and we can't change that email also. So for the card number Uh, I haven't applied any validation, but just uh, basic validation I have applied that length should be 16. And for the expiry date, the date should be greater than the two days date. That logic I have been applied. So let's send an OTP. OTP send a phone number. So as I earlier said, it is locally. So it will send OTP uh, into your local host. You just enter the OTP click on pay button. You can see that payment is successful. Uh, let's go to the orders page. Yes, we can see that the two books of this category and a single book of C++ category has been ordered. Now order quantity, order price, all the details has been stored to the database correctly. So this is how the user section works correctly. Let's go to the cart section again. You can see that the cart has been emptied because we have just ordered the payment. So if a user had to add one more book, he will just click on add to the cart button. The book has been added to the cart. Just increase the quantity. Click on proceed to pay. So now let's try with the card number which length is not uh, 16. On send OTP. Mm. 
you can see that payment failed because invalid card details. So it should be exactly length of 16 card number. You can see that payment has been successful. Let's go to the orders table and check whether payment has been added or not. Yes, uh, you can see that order ID, uh, order ID has been uh, updated and payment also has been checked by order price 25 and order quantity 2. So this is how your user functionality works. So we will now log in, uh, log out as a user and log in as admin to check whether admin functionality works correctly or not. So if you want to add more functionalities in this project, I will attach the link of GitHub uh, code repo in the description. You can just download the code and add more functionality in this project. So you can also apply many CSS properties, many functionalities, many validations, etc. So let's log out and log in as admin. So this is admin login. For the admin, I have set username admin and password admin. It's just your basic username and password for validation. Click on login. So I will just show uh, you can't access the admin this uh, URL if you are not login let's say if you hit that url uh, it will direct to the admin login page only so you need to be login as admin so this is how session uh, works in node.js so this is admin uh, user list page these are all the list of users uh, that a user has been registered to our website these are all the users. Uh, if you want to see that uh, which user has ordered uh, which product, you can just click on view button. So if you want to see that what US has ordered, so just click on view button. No order for this user. So recently we have ordered for Branko. Let's click on view button. So you can see that there are two orders, order ID, product name. So here in order ID, in order table, user ID box is a foreign key of user table. So this is the order history of that particular user. So this is a user list. So if you, your admin wants to add a book, so there is admin dashboard where he can add, add the book, edit the book, delete the book as all the card operations are performed. So this is admin dashboard page where you can see all the books that are present in the database that is in books table. So if you want to see, uh, read the description more, you will just click on read more. You can see the description has been uh, expanded read list so this is price quantity so we will just add the book first just click on add book a form will appear you need to fill that form set frank skin category will be thriller let's say author is yes For the image, you can just click on. Uh, you can set all the price. Let's say quantity ten. We'll just click on add book button. Okay. You can see that the Frankenstein book has been added. Author, thriller, uh, the quantity and price we have set. That is. So this is how add add book functionality works. So if user need to edit the book. We'll just click on edit button and let's change the author to jk update book. you can see that the author has been updated from years to the jk here also you can uh, read uh, more and read less, uh, read less exp uh, functionality expanded or string so if admin wants to edit the book uh, he can edit if admin wants to delete the book he will just click on delete button you can see that the book has been deleted from the here and from the database also know that book is uh, present in the database so this is how user manage uh, library management system works in user and admin functionality so if you want to add more functionality more features you can just download the code from the youtube description and you can add the functionalities so i can show the database table so here are uh, four tables that i have created first for admin it is just storing admin username and password uh, second books so here all the books uh, list of books are present in this uh, table then orders table Whatever the user orders something, it will store in orders table as user ID is a foreign key from user table. 
and user table is register uh, when the user register it stores in user table so this is a four table in the this project so this is a, a full stack project if you can do in the final year it will be great if you can add more functionalities more styling more bootstrap properties and more functionalities of javascript node js etc so this is how this project works so thank you everyone uh, thank you everyone for watching this project or video if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and like this video Thank you once again.